Hey my heads, my name is Ray Jade, and welcome back to Incorrect Lore, where I talk about the story and lore of games, but everything I say is completely wrong. Have you ever played TF2 and wondered if there's any kind of story in this game? Maybe. I have. But what's even more unlikely is someone wanting an explanation of the TF2 lore, but everything they say is completely wrong. Luckily, I like solving problems that no one has, and we'll start at the beginning, where the conflict in TF2 started. The world existed for a while, as it does, but sometime in like the 1700s or 1800s or something, one man changed the trajectory of the world so two teams and a fortress could exist at some point. That man's name was Dr. Kleiner. Dr. Kleiner did stuff and was cool or something. Also, he was blue because, I don't know. And you know what? Fuck it. Dr. Kleiner was the first human on Earth, and almost everyone else is also Dr. Kleiner. I'll get to that in a second. He also owned a bunch of land or some shit, and on one of those plots of land, he made a factory to create other Dr. Kleiners. But before he started mass-producing Dr. Kleiners to populate the Earth, he created two special Dr. Kleiners. Red Kleiner and Green Kleiner. Red and Green Kleiner kind of hated each other and fought a lot, so the original Kleiner, who I'll just call Blue Kleiner, gave both of them some of the empty land he had. And during the mass production of Dr. Kleiner's in the Dr. Kleiner factory, a group of new Kleiners was created. This group was entirely different than the rest, and they didn't look anything like Dr. Kleiner. These Kleiners were produced as mercenaries for Red Kleiner and Green Kleiner to fuel their stupid fucking feud. These Kleiners would become the armies of Red Kleiner and Green Kleiner, and would constantly kill each other over and over again in worthless plots of land that mean nothing. These Kleiners would go on to become the mercenaries in Titanfall 2. Team Fortress 3 consists of 10 different classes, all with their own unique backstories and abilities and shit like that. Unfortunately, they don't have hats. I wish Valve would make hats for this game. I think it would add a lot. It should also add, like, an economy for those hats. Like, it would, it would be so funny. But before I go through the very extensive backstories of these mercenaries, let's give a quick overview of each one. Number one, the medic. The medic is a medical student from California who heals people because he's a fucking medic. Objectively, the best class in the game. Number two, the medic. The medic is a medical student from California who heals people because he's a fucking medic. Objectively, the best class in the game. Number three, the medic. Um, a, a Californian medical student who kills people or something. Why is he here again? Number four, the the medic. Oh, uh, he's a medic. Why the hell is this list only consisting of medic? Number five, the medic. What the hell? Why the fuck is it only the medic? Number six, the, the fucking medic. Number seven, the engineer. The engineer is a chef from France who builds stuff and has funny voice lines. Objectively, the best class in the game. Number eight, the medic. Stop, stop with the medic. Number nine, the medic. It, it's it's only medic. And number fourteen, Woody from Toy Story. Huh, now that we're done with that, let's talk about the lore of all these characters. They are all Dr. Kleiner. Red Kleiner and Green Kleiner kept hurling these Kleiner mercenaries at each other for the rest of time and really never made any progress against destroying one another. But during all of these fights, Red Kleiner had something prepared. In a secret lab underneath the Kleiner factory, Red Kleiner took the mercenaries and made special robot versions of them to fight Green Kleiner. These robots would prove to be more of a challenge against Green Kleiner, but still, their never-ending feud remained a stalemate. There was also another set of robots, this time they are all medics. From 2017 to 2023, Valve consistently updated Titanfall 2. G -g Get it? Because, of, because I'm a lion. And these medics were the creation of something called being annoying, and they made the battles between the Kleiners really annoying and not fun at all. But luckily, Valve remembered that they made a video game and banned them. That's not even wrong. This isn't even incorrect lore. Hold on, let me s s uh, start not being incorrect real quick. Let me take a break from being wrong to send a message to Valve. Valve, I, and many other TF2 players appreciate you finally remembering this game exists and banning the bots after like five fucking years. But please keep doing this and don't let your casual servers face this stupid shit again. Because if you'll let these bot hosters who ruin the game for everyone else and worse literally commit crimes like swatting people infest your servers again, you might as well pull the plug on casual servers entirely because it's a message that you don't fucking care about the game anymore which isn't inherently a bad thing. But what is wrong is letting the game become a safe haven for literal criminals while you continue to monetize the game and make a good amount of money from it. It's an old game and you don't have to support it forever, and you won't support it forever probably, 
but if you're going to keep monetizing it, then at least keep banning these bots. Thank you for doing what you've done so far. The game is actually playable again, but please keep the pressure. Because cheating is inevitable in the multiplayer game, and we'll probably come across these bots again to an extent, but as long as the game isn't in the slump it was back in May, it'll be fine. Anyway, that's about all the lying I can do for this video. Who knew the Kleiner lore went this deep? <laughs> Thanks for being here. You like stupid bullshit like this? Okay. I don't really feel like sitting here and telling you to subscribe because I don't care that much. Go do whatever you want. But I gotta get back to reading 1984 so I can know what happened 40 years ago when this book was written 35 years prior. I think I have the wrong copy of 1984. It just says Dr. Kleiner over and over again.